Hello everyone, you know the drill, you know what time it is, it's time to practice. This is American English File 2nd Edition, Book 1, Workbook, Part 7A. Okay, at the National Portrait Gallery, do you remember the story? Alright, now, simple past of B, was and were. So, complete the sentences with was, were, wasn't or weren't. For example, who's that? It's Edith Wharton. Why was she famous? Okay, so stop the video and do it. Good. Now, check with your partner. Easy. All right, let's do it together. So, she was a writer. Was she Canadian? No, she wasn't. She was American. She was born in New York City in 1862. All right. And was she married? Yes, she was. Very good. Well done. Now, in the next part, write questions and answers. For example, number one. Alexander Graham Bell, sportsman, and you see this is mean this means no here. Was Alexander Graham Bell a sportsman? No, he wasn't. Or for example, number two, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, actors and check mark. Were Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor actors? Yes, they were. Okay? You know what to do. Stop the video and do it. Good. Check it with your partner. Okay, let's do it together. Number three. Was Jorge Luis Borges a novelist? Yes, he was. Number four. Were the Beatles from the US? No, they weren't. Number five. Was Robert Frost a politician? No. He wasn't. Number six. Was I. M. Pei a composer? No, he wasn't. Number seven. Was Sophie Vergara born in Colombia? Yes, she was. Number eight. Was Frank Sinatra a singer? Yes, he was. Number nine. Were J. R. R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis painters? No, they weren't. And number 10, was Michael Jackson born in Britain? Britain, England. No, he wasn't. Well done, very good. Okay, now complete the dialogues with the present or past of B. For example, number one, what day is it today? Monday, yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was. Okay, let's do this one together. Number two. Hi. Is your sister at home? No, she isn't. She was here this morning, but now she, she's at work. Okay, number three. I can't find my keys. Where are they? I don't know. They were on your desk this morning. Number four. Where is your new friend from? He was born in the US, but his parents were born in Singapore. Number five. Why was your boss angry yesterday? Because I was very late for work. Good. Now, everybody, let's make professions. Use a or and. Do you remember? For example, invent, inventor. Play, player. Okay? Let's do it together. Okay, so write, writer, play, a player, compose, a composer, music, a musician, paint, a painter, business, a businessman or a businesswoman, act, an actor or an actress, science, a scientist, sail, a sailor. Well done. Very good. You did very good. Now, everybody, complete the sentences with was or were. 
and a noun from A. Okay, so Francis Drake, Beethoven and Mozart. If you don't know, you can use Google to help you. Do it. Good. Now check, your, check the answers with your partner. For example, Francis Drake was a sailor. Beethoven and Mozart were composer, composers. James Dean was an actor. Galileo was a scientist. Freddie Mercury was a musician. The Wright brothers were inventors. They made the plane, right? F. Scott Fitzgerald was a writer. Howard Hughes was a businessman. And Degas and Tolus Lautrec, they were artists. Well done. Okay, everybody. Now I want you to listen and repeat this conversation. Look at the picture. The conversation is about this man. Listen and repeat. Let's do it. File 7A. Pronunciation. Who was Aaron Copeland? He was a composer. Was he British? No, he wasn't. He was American. When was he born? He was born in 1900. Were his parents composers? No, they weren't. Okay, well done. Now, we have a listening here. Listen to a radio program about the greatest Americans of all time. Number the people in the order they come in. Okay? So, listen and number. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do it. File 7A. Listening. Hello. And welcome to what is a very special show, because we're going to find out the results of our poll. Tom Brewer from the Discovery Channel is here to tell us who the greatest American of all time is. Hello, Tom. Hi there. So, let's look at the top five, Tom. All right. Well, number five on the list is, in fact, Ben Franklin. Okay, I'm not surprised. I'm not either. Did you know that he was the owner of a newspaper? The Pennsylvania Gazette, at the age of 22? Or that he was an expert swimmer? No, I didn't know that. Very interesting. But who is number four? Well, number four is George Washington. Ah, yes, George Washington. Tell us something about him. Well, he was born in Virginia on February 22, 1732. He was the first president of the U.S. He died in 1779 at the age of 67. Okay. Who's next? Number three on the list is Martin Luther King, Jr., Yes, he was an amazing person. That's right. So let me tell you about him. He was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was famous because he was one of the leaders of the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. He was killed on April 4, 1968. He was only 39 years old. Yes, that was tragic. So, number two? Number two is Abraham Lincoln, the 12th president of the U.S. Really? Tell us about him. Well, he was born on February 12th in 1809. He was president during the American Civil War, and he was killed on April 15th, 1865. He wasn't very old when he died, only 56. Okay, and now for the moment we've been waiting for. Who is the greatest American of all time? Who is at the top of the list? Well, I'll give you a clue. It's a man. He was born on February 6, 1911, and died in 2004. He was an actor and a U.S. president. 
I knew it! It's Ronald Reagan. That's right. Ronald Reagan is the greatest American of all time. Americans voted for Reagan because jobs were good and salaries were high when he was president. Tom Brewer, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Okay, did you number them? Easy, right? All right. Now, but it's not finished. Listen again. True or false? All right. Let's get it done. File 7A. Listening. Hello, and welcome to what is a very special show because we're going to find out the results of our poll. Tom Brewer from the Discovery Channel is here to tell us who the greatest American of all time is. Hello, Tom. Hi there. So, let's look at the top five, Tom. All right. Well, number five on the list is, in fact, Ben Franklin. Okay. I'm not surprised. I'm not either. Did you know that he was the owner of a newspaper? The Pennsylvania Gazette at the age of 22? Or that he was an expert swimmer? No, I didn't know that. Very interesting. But who is number four? Well, number four is George Washington. Ah, oh, yes, George Washington. Tell us something about him. Well, he was born in Virginia on February 22, 1732. He was the first president of the U.S. He died in 1779 at the age of 67. Okay. Who's next? Number three on the list is Martin Luther King, Jr. Yes, he was an amazing person. That's right. So, let me tell you about him. He was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. He was famous because he was one of the leaders of the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. He was killed on April 4, 1968. He was only 39 years old. Yes, that was tragic. So, number two? Number two is Abraham Lincoln, the 12th president of the U.S. Really? Tell us about him. Well, he was born on February 12th in 1809. He was president during the American Civil War, and he was killed on April 15th, 1865. He wasn't very old when he died, only 56. Okay, and now for the moment we've been waiting for. Who is the greatest American of all time? Who is at the top of the list? Well, I'll give you a clue. It's a man. He was born on February 6, 1911, and died in 2004. He was an actor and a U.S. president. I knew it! It's Ronald Reagan! That's right! Ronald Reagan is the greatest American of all time. Americans voted for Reagan because jobs were good and salaries were high when he was president. Tom Brewer, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. I like the music very much. Okay, now, number one, Ben Franklin was a young newspaper owner, true. Number two, George Washington was born on February 12, 1732, false. Number three, he was 76 when he died, false. Martin Luther Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, true. He was young when he died, true. Abraham Lincoln was a painter. False. He was 56 when he died. True. The greatest American of all time was a singer. False. All right. 
Now, these are some words that you can use. The 16th century. Century. Kill. Kill. Between. Between. Between 1816 and 1820. Be against something. Be against something. Be in love with someone. Be in love. All right? These are for you. All right. Nice practice. It was good. But it's never enough. You should be unbreakable here. Never enough. Always better.